Hi, it's me. Yes, your regular old bronze kid YouTuber basically with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be destroying the Walrus auction house and actually fixing it, saving you time and effort by making the prices as low as it can be. So you see, one of the devs once said, the auction house is never gonna get removed. So meaning, even in 10 years, if Roblox is somehow still alive, which it probably will because it's a multi-million dollar company. Oh, sorry, I mean billion dollar company. Unless the devs change their mind, which will probably happen in logical purposes he said it won't happen so it will probably not happen anytime soon so stop bidding such monstrous prices on the auction house like i sometimes see people bidding two hundred thousand dollars for a peterson i know it's a regular price now but it's still time consuming it takes a lot of effort and energy and you're wasting your time doing it but i don't want to find your mistakes i know you just want to try out the guns if you didn't understand, I'm saying is the auction house is never gonna get removed, meaning you have like a lot of time to actually bid and grind. Meaning, I want my 15,000 kids, not including myself, I'm, I'm smart. If everyone starts doing it, the prices are gonna drop down dramatically. You might even see a, someone getting a prototype for $70,000. Yes, $70,000 if this video actually works out. The main premise I'm saying is, any auction gun that is your favorite, Lancaster, Prototype, Peterson, Spitfire, anyone, or even instruments. For instruments, I want you to add $5,000 to the starting bid. And for guns, $10,000 for the starting bid, meaning the Spitfire starting bid is $120,000. Meaning, I want you, if you're trying to get a Spitfire to bid, $130,000. If someone outbids you, well, he's in for a loss because the auction house is never gonna get removed and there's like, tens of thousands of spitfires coming in the future so just take your time don't waste your time and effort and if you already grinded the money you can bid on other items too like the Pedersen, it starts at eighty thousand dollars so i want you to bid from 90 to 100 thousand Pedersen is like a fan favorite so it might go up twenty thousand dollars it's it's in that range for lancaster and prototype both of them start at sixty thousand dollars meaning you only have to bid 70 to 80 thousand dollars because those are also fan favorite um guy code is 20 thousand dollars yeah so just bid 25 thousand dollars if you get it cool you're the best human alive and you're the smartest individual i've met for the coupe it starts at 80 thousand dollars so bid 90 thousand dollars it's not a fan favorite it's a knife not a gun i don't think people would outrageously bid like hundreds of thousands of dollars for it so yeah, if you are a TTO fit fan, firstly you should stop and secondly you should start bidding less for the guns because it's gonna stay for a quite a while now. Like, my best bet is like one more year. If they actually remove it for the building update, I can understand. But for now, stop bidding monstrous prices for the auction items. Anyway, this is your bronze kid white tuber. Yup, leaving to you and saying no buys.